Yu Kiss are known by older K-pop fans as one of the most iconic yet messiest groups to ever grace the stage. From feuds between the members and constant lineup changes to an unexpected reunion, a lot has happened to them. Yu Kiss burst onto the music scene in 2008 as a fresh face six member boy band. Two of the members, Gi Bom and Kevin, had previously been part of another group called Zing, but they decided to leave and join Yu Kiss while the other four members were chosen through auditions by NH Media. Their journey began with a showcase in Tokyo on August 16th, 2008 but their official debut happened on August 28th with a live performance of their debut song, Not Young. They released their first mini-album, New Generation, shortly after. Despite being newcomers, Yukis quickly caught the attention of a Japanese entertainment company called Yashimoto Group, which invested a significant amount of money to develop the group into an international sensation. Their talent, the public's love for them, and the collaboration between Japan and Korea helped Yukis gain popularity and recognition. In 2009, Yukis underwent a lineup change and welcomed Gisop as their seventh member. They released their second mini-album, Bring It Back to Old School, in February 2009, which gained them popularity in Thailand. Later that year, their third mini-album, Continue Kiss, was released, featuring their most popular song to this day, Man Man Honey. This marked the beginning of their journey towards success. But in 2011, Yu Kiss experienced more lineup changes. Soo Hyun became the official leader, while Alexander and Gi Bom left the group. Xander's departure was especially shady, since the label stated that he wanted to go back to school to finish his studies. However, as it turns out, the label removed him because they wanted more Korean members and told Xander that he wasn't talented or popular enough to be in the group. Both of them were replaced by Gim Jae Sop or AJ and Yo Hoon Min or Hoon. Despite the changes, Yu Kiss continued to thrive, releasing their fifth EP, Brand New Kiss, and their first Japanese single, Tic Tac. In 2011, AJ got accepted into Columbia University in the United States. This is where the troubles would start, so keep this in mind for later. The following year, in 2012, Yu Kiss's popularity soared even higher. They were recognized as the top Hollywood group in Japan, and Kevin was named the luckiest Hallyu star of 2012. The group made international appearances, including a special performance in Paris, France, and held a successful concert tour across Japan. During the Japanese live tour on July 29th, it was announced that AJ would be taking a hiatus for five months. Starting in August, he would no longer participate in Yukis activities to focus on his studies. NH Media announced that AJ would make his return in early 2013, resulting in the Yukis comeback in September 2012, featuring only six members. In the following years, Yukis released more albums and embarked on tours in Japan and Europe. In January 2014, following their US tour, AJ entered his second hiatus. A documentary captured this specific moment, showing AJ expressing his intention to return soon, bidding farewell to the other members with hugs and smiles. Throughout his absence, whenever fans asked about his whereabouts, the members confirmed that he was diligently studying in the US and requested support and privacy. No specific return date was given, but during their concerts, spaces were left empty for fans to leave gifts and letters. While the group was reaching new heights of success, the situation with AJ got messier. NH Media initiated auditions for a new member, surprising the fans and even the rest of the group. In a video, Soo Hyun, who had some influence within the company, expressed opposition to adding a new member, though his authority was limited. By March, a pre-debut member named June was seen accompanying the group during the White Day events in Japan, and he eventually debuted in June. AJ's hiatus seemed to be the root of all problems. A plausible theory by fans suggests that when AJ began and his second hiatus, both he and the company knew that he would not return. At that point, he had spent more time on hiatus than he had spent as a member of the group. After returning to Korea for heart surgery following one semester abroad, it seems that AJ didn't inform the other members of the fact that he came back. They appeared surprised upon learning the news before he left for the US once again. Eventually, AJ allegedly stopped responding to online messages and his contract expired in 2016, leading to him leaving the group. It is believed that AJ wanted to terminate his contract before its expiration, but NH Media prevented him from doing so. To fans, it seemed a lot like Yukis served as his backup plan in case he didn't gain admission to Columbia University. Since the members themselves weren't able to persuade the company to release vlogs that have been sitting unreleased for two years, it appears unlikely that they had any power to prevent AJ from breaking his contract. Furthermore, AJ spoke up in 2019, blaming the Yukis members for blocking his future. When asked by a fan if he still keeps in touch with the Yukis members, AJ asked back whether they would continue talking to individuals who block their path and their future. Since this was a rather strong statement on his part, people got curious. A fan commented on one of his pictures, questioning how the UKIS members could have blocked his future when they appeared unaware of his departure and decision to leave. The fan also pointed out that since the members were not even aware of his intentions, it seemed impossible that they could have made the decision on his behalf. To that, AJ replied, because they were pretending. They already knew years ago before I officially left. In another Instagram story, he provided an explanation, emphasizing 
emphasizing the importance of trust between an employee and a company. He expressed that after dedicating over a decade of hard work, if he feels that his efforts have been disregarded and his goals no longer aligned with the company's, he had no choice but to make the decision to leave. He also asked what a powerless employee could do if their colleagues unreasonably prevented them from taking any action during their contract despite apologizing and seeking understanding. This had fans confused as to why he was blaming the members for what had happened instead of the company. It can be speculated that the other members didn't want him to rejoin the group because of everything that had happened, despite his apologies for the hiatus. As a result, he was unable to participate in group promotions or pursue solo endeavors until his contract with the company expired and he eventually left. The group faced another issue in 2015 when the member Eli announced that he had been married for over a year. And you know that admitting to a relationship while you're a K-pop idol basically at the peak of your career is just going to hurt things. He revealed that he had been in a five-year relationship with his wife, who was 11 years older than him and worked as a model. They also shared the news that they were expecting a child. In response to this surprising announcement, Eli's fellow members Soo Hyun and Kevin expressed their support on Twitter. Yu Kiss's agency, NH Media, released a statement on December 6, 2015, addressing some concerns. They assured fans that Eli's marriage would not affect the activities with Yu Kiss, including his participation in a Chinese drama. The agency also requested fans to refrain from leaving negative comments, considering that he was soon to become a father. But, well, this meant little to nothing, as his marriage turned into a complete disaster, so even if netizens were mildly supportive of it in the beginning, they grew tired of the very public problems that he and his now ex-wife had. So when all this mess happened, the members were kind of lost asking themselves what to do now. Some of them enlisted in the army, and other members left the company after the expiration of their contract. People had little to no expectations for a possible reunion, especially one that included AJ, Xander, and Eli, but as it turns out, anything's possible. Recently, it was announced that Yu Kiss would be having a reunion comeback to celebrate their 15th anniversary. Initially, only Suhyun, Hoon, and Kisalp were confirmed as members. This led to speculations about the remaining spots. However, in a recently released teaser, it was revealed that Eli, Alexander, and AJ will also be a part of the comeback. Alexander even addressed the drama between the members on his Instagram. He posted on June 3rd clarifying that the members have encountered various conflicts in the past. However, he said that he genuinely believes that misunderstandings and gaslighting played a role as they were all young at the time. Xander goes on to say that everyone faced a tough journey to get where they are, and he even joked that if he were younger, he would have caused more drama and would be much bolder. He goes on, What we all want is a meaningful comeback, and that's why this is happening. If anyone wants drama, just go watch K-dramas to fulfill your thirst. He also said that Tango Music would be documenting the process of the members reuniting and would be releasing exclusive behind-the-scenes clips on Yu Kiss's official social media accounts. It's good to see that the members have overcome their differences and conflicts to give fans the comeback that they've been waiting for. Moreover, it's great that they're talking about it so openly and willing to discuss what happened. Hoon and Soo Hyun released solo digital singles in May, followed by Yu Kiss releasing a mini album titled Playlist in June as a six member group for their comeback. Additionally, Yu Kiss has planned a 15th anniversary concert in Japan in July. This marks the return after a hiatus of approximately five years and six months, with this being their first new release, so make sure to stay tuned and support the releases. It's not every day that we get a reunion like this. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and make sure to tune into our next videos. Bye!